When you're first getting to know the HubSpot CRM, it's super important to understand what are the different objects within HubSpot. So the primary one that HubSpot uses is a contact. Unlike Salesforce, there's no difference between leads and contacts here. Everybody in your database is a contact. And that contact is going to have a contact ID. It's going to have a lifecycle state. It's going to have some other properties like create date. But all of this different information is going to be stored on your contact. And every time you have an interaction with this contact, if you place a phone call and you log that call, if you send an email, if you add information about them, like their job title or their industry, we're going to store that information on the contact record here. Associated with those contacts are companies. So that's our second object in HubSpot. We have contacts and companies. Company is very similar to like an account. Um, but so we're going to have a, a contact at companies. We're going to have only one company associated with each contact. So a contact is associated with one and only one company. There can be many contacts at each company, though. That's what these little symbols represent here. We have a zero or many relationship. We have a zero or one relationship. Companies are going to have all kinds of information stored about them, their name, the source, account status. So here, by creating this association, what this is going to let us do is contacts in HubSpot. We can make a list and say, show me my contacts who have an associated company where the account status is active. Or show me my contacts who have a company that is located in North America. By creating these associations, we can now access all of the data that is stored on one of these other records. So this becomes a lot more powerful than simply having the data stored here in a property. We're going to keep going. We're going to add deals. So now in HubSpot, we don't just have our contacts and our companies. We also have our deals, our opportunities. Um, each deal, if you're using the sales hub, if you're using some of the advanced automation features and sales suite tools, is going to have a line item with a product. And those IDs are going to be connected. So now I can look up which contacts have purchased which types of products, which companies have purchased which types of products. All of this information is going to flow together. There's a fourth primary object in HubSpot for tickets. And we're going to, again, have a ticket ID. And this information is going to be connected to our other objects here, sticking with our one uh, to you know or zero relationships. Each deal and each ticket and each contact is only associated with one company. But at that company, we can have multiple tickets. We can have multiple deals. We can have multiple contacts. And when we talk about tickets and deals being related to contacts and tickets and deals being related to one another, those both have multiple relationships or many to many relationships. So there can be a ticket associated with each deal, or there can be multiple tickets associated with each deal, or there can be multiple deals associated with a single ticket. <clears throat> all of the different combinations are possible and all of the data that's stored on either side of those relationships can be used back and forth with one another. Another important piece of the data puzzle are timeline events. So HubSpot is also recording additional data in the form of a timeline event in its own table attached to contacts, attached to companies, attached to tickets, attached to deals, so that we see things like when a sales email is sent to a contact, when a uh, chat is logged to a ticket, um, we'll have that information stored and we'll be able to access it within our object records. The last component is a custom object. So HubSpot, um, you know, as we saw with our associations, you know, sometimes there's there's the case where we can't store all of our data on custom properties. There's a lot of times when you want to associate more information than that. In our example here, we're using like a partner. So every time I have a deal close, there's a partner object that's associated with that deal. Contacts would be associated with the partner. Companies would be associated with the partner. So I could see who are my partners that are bringing in companies that are closing deals. Um, you know, this could also be like a distributor. This could be a territory manager. This could be a subscriber. There's all kinds of custom object possibilities. These custom objects are going to have the same timeline information. Now all my data is connected. These relationships I can actually define and say with partner objects, I only want to let one company be associated or actually I'm going to let multiple companies be associated. Same thing going to contacts. I can say only let one partner be associated or let multiple partners be associated. But really, um, you know, this is key to understanding how to set up your CRM, how to set up your data in HubSpot. Would love to answer any questions. Please reach out.